Cam McGuire here, spinning the web with outfielder out of Vanderbilt, Kiambu Fentress. Kiambu, how are you doing today? Doing well, thank you very much. Yeah, Kiambu, talk about your, your process ending up here in Fond du Lac this summer. Yeah, so basically it was in the fall, and I remember it was one fall ball session. We was doing pitchers hitter, and then I did well, and then he was like, hey, he's going to Northwoods. I didn't know what team, whatever. And then maybe like a month later, I got an email saying, hey, I'm going this place and that, that. I'm like, okay, cool. So that's pretty much it. Kind of fell in the place that way. Well, you're from Nashville, Tennessee. You just finished your sophomore year at Vanderbilt. What was your recruiting process like to Vandy? Well, I've always been a Vanderbilt fan since, uh, since forever, honestly. I used to go to the games coming up and kind of knew Coach Corbin um, personally before. And I went to a baseball camp um, my sophomore year. I believe, and that's when the recruiting process started, and so just all she wrote from there. So was it was it Vandy or nothing, pretty much then? Pretty much, yes, Vandy or nothing. I had some other places, but my heart was set on Vanderbilt. So you talk about growing up in Nashville. What was that like? You spent your time at Ensworth High School, four-time state champ in football. You're a big-time football player in high school. Yes, um, it was fun, um, dominating for four years. Um, and honestly, we kind of put Tennessee on the map because we had a lot of good players come out of Nashville. You got a person like Jalen Ramsey, who's with the Jaguars right now. Derek Barnett got drafted to the first round. And it was all like rival schools, so it was a fun time, and I'm glad it happened. You're a, you're a big wide receiver. Your senior season, all state. You led the, led the state in yards per catch. What was your game like, wide receiver? Just throw it up, and I'm going to go get it. Just throw it up and go get it there for Kiambu Fentress. You said you haven't run the 40 because it was during the summer and you were playing summer ball. Is there a guess of what maybe that would be? 4-3 for sure. 4-3. All right, we're going 4-3 for sure on that one. Baseball player, though, now in college. So what's if for people that don't know your game, what's your biggest aspect? I would imagine you're going to say speed. You are correct. And my legs are my biggest tool, and I need to take care of them, and I do that. All right, Kianvu, biggest clown on the team. Who are we going with? Troy Black. Troy Black. All right, this has to be – Kyle, what do you think about the fifth or sixth time now that we've gotten this? Why, give us a little explanation. We'll see if it compares to everyone else. Well, he's just uh, – he's a goofball, you know. But, like, he likes to have fun. He talks a lot. And it's really not his fault because I met his dad the other day, and he's just like his father. Honestly, I'm okay. I see where he gets it from. So it's not his fault. Kiambu, thanks so much. We look forward to watching you the rest of the season. Yes, thank you for having me.